patient or here he is coming from Mumbai his main uh, concern is his deviated nose look at the nose how badly it's deviated uh, he had a trauma when he, in, at his childhood so after that the deviation happened and he had he has breathing difficulty at his right side also so it's going to be both functional and cosmetic rhinoplasty we have to correct the deviation also he desires a narrow dosum he, he wants to uh, decrease his alar flare yeah and uh, we have to reduce this hump as well look at the side correct no the hump also has to get reduced the deviation has to be corrected overall it's going to be an open structure rhinoplasty with rib harvesting yeah he's already we are all ready to shift the patient in ICU right now okay and cosmetic septal rhinoplasty so you can see the nose so it's totally deviated a severe deviated nasal septum so the tip is towards the left side the rest of the nasal bones towards the right and there is asymmetry there's depression there's concavity on this side convexity on this side so that's the deformity that he has let me show you all the different views so you get a good idea and this is the basal view so you can see the asymmetry the tip is moved you can see the cartilage there as well septo rhinoplasty with rib graft for septal reconstruction and tip work so you see the nose is totally deviated and now it's on the midline I'm going to show you the different views so the concavity and the convexity has been adjusted the tip has become on the center so let me show you the symmetry the different views very badly deviated the bony part of it was going towards the right the tip was going towards the left now we've got everything going towards the midline we are post almost a week little more than a week with a patient um, post his septo rhinoplasty now he had a complaint of a deviated nose very straightforward very particular um, with his demands he wanted a straight nose a nose which is not deviated because it's been um, since so ever since his childhood years if I'm not wrong yeah, I had two three injuries one was a physical injury the other one was a yeah, but you never got any kind of treatment to get it rectified, so as to say. I never thought I would ever do one treatment. I had to do it because, because <laughs> then it was, I could see myself and it was, I was getting very conscious. Right. And you also could find out that there's a solution exists to this. Oh yeah, I knew about it. Yeah. But the uh, operation was, I was very scared, scared because <laughs> I've never done anything like this Yes, before. yes. Especially operation on your face. Yes, okay. So I'll proceed with the splint removal. He did mention that he was terrified before the surgery. Might yeah, be terrified even now. Yeah. But... Uh, A lot of effort before. Before like 100% of was terrified. Hmm. The only uh, uh, relief I had in only one the anesthesia. It was the anesthesia? Yeah. anesthesia in this world. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have never done this in me. Don't want to know that. Well, of course, such procedures require general anesthesia. Cannot be done under local anesthesia because these are major procedures, right? Yeah. 
and no one has in my family nobody has done this and no one and because this comes under plastic surgery right and and also I'm a bit skeptical about my uh, insurance cover my insurance yes I've right been, my insurance have mentioned that they will cover it unless and until it's a if you mention it's a breathing issue and uh, yeah. but remember you did have a blocked nose on the right side and yeah, it was yeah. very evident okay. even from the scans even from the like the clinical part yes you know i do i do a lot of meditation so we have been told to uh, breathe from the left nose and right nose i could never feel my right nose <laughs> point only. okay I think there is swelling no doubt. Yes, there is swelling. Clean everything. Okay, now you can have a look and we'll also have a look as to what you came but to us a little closer. It is good. Ten days back. The change is very evident. Yeah. Only there is swelling, yeah, I can see. There is that. swelling at the tip. And the tip. major reason why there is swelling at the tip is because the splint could only pinch this part. See, okay. if you have a look in the mirror, you see this part is little more pinched. You see this okay. grooving over okay. here. Okay. That was because the splint was stuck for so long and it's giving little unnatural appearance over this side. Correct, correct, correct. That will smoothen out. It will become correct, more correct. natural. Uh, and the swelling which you're seeing is only around this tip yeah, region. Correct, correct. And it's for you, it's more, little more on the right side than the left. Correct, correct. All that will come down. It will take yeah. time. There but if... A, yeah. <coughs> yeah, continue, sir. Uh, there is a bit of numbness here. At the tip, yes, right. That's it. The other parts right. are fine. Are fine. Yeah. Pain, everything. The pain is all gone. But For I you, know. rib graft was needed. So, what about the rib side pain? Uh, there is no pain, but when I uh, when I sneeze, there is a bit of okay. like, a very minor pain. Okay, even like on getting uh, up, no, getting that's down, fine. that's, all, that's fine. all fine by now. Okay. So, um, even you can appreciate your picture in the mirror. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This was this was around ten days back. Yes. One thing which has not changed is the scar. The reason being. Yes. Yeah, the reason why Dr. Richardson told you that the, a lot of work has to be done from inside the nose and outside as well. So both of it can be quite cumbersome with respect to the blood supply. So this scar has to wait a little bit more. But the major... He'll come back again, okay. The major reason um, he came to us was for the deviated nose. So his nose was bodily bent towards the right side and the tip was towards the left. We'll also go on to see other pictures. Just look up. Look up, completely look up and chin up and see yourself in the mirror and see this. So your nose had an S-shaped bend if we can see. There is a point which is sticking out on the right side and you had severe blocked nose on the right side. In your words, you could not feel the right side as if you are breathing from the only from the left side. And the tip is towards the left. Other views please. Uh -huh. Side view also we can see, just turn towards your left. No, sir, head towards your left, chin towards your left. Yeah, now you can see in the mirror. Okay. Look in the mirror, yeah. You can even see this if it's not too. Yes, it is. Yes, other side, right side. I mean, it, it, now the both sides. They you also had a hump. If you see, if you will very look very carefully, you also had a hump, which is an elevation. Your nose was not straight. Yes, now, but now your nose is straight, it's uniform, there's no bend, um, no deviation. Yes, you're right, that swelling is light, slightly more still on the right side compared to left and swelling is more on the tip. I, I, yeah, I like the way, <coughs> I like what you have done over here because over here, if you see in the photograph, yeah. there's a bit of more, uh, there's a lot of, what I do, how do you, depth. <laughs> Okay, so you are you are mentioning about these yes. lines and extra skin this, yes. tag? No, this, this, you can see darkness here. The, okay, yes, but the grooving. Smooth. Yes, the it grooving has become smooth. That's because the skin has become stretched a little bit. So yeah. it's become smooth, it's become linear. This will smoothen out. You okay. see there are two osteotomy marks over yeah. here. That These are sutures that will yeah. be taken off. Even there are stitches here, these will also be taken off. Those stitches? Yeah, very fine. This okay. won't leave you a mark. But this will be removed because you see these are blood cut. No pain. <laughs> okay. So he's a very articulate patient who has been here for over a week. And um, it would be very helpful if you given an insight as to how the procedure was right from the anesthesia because I know you were very terrified. The post-surgical phase when you had swelling, you had lots of swelling below your eyes. Now all of them have eased out. And with respect to rib pain, the overall stay, Everything. Uh, 
सब बिगाड़ बिल बिगाड़ सो सर्जरी आई डेंट फील एनीथिंग बिकॉज़ आई वाज गिवन एनेस्थीशिया आई आई कुड फील या आई वोक अप आई ऑल आई कुड द मोमेंट आई वोक अप एक्चुअली व्हेन आई वोक अप यू आर देयर सेड द ऑपरेशन इज डन वेरी इजी आई वेरी इजी आई मीन आई थॉट माय केस इज कॉम्प्लिकेटेड आई थॉट बट आई नो दैट्स टेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स केसेस माइन इज नथिंग that complex no, but, but still there see yours was uh, yours was a severely deviated nose the scan said so the picture said so you really had a severely deviated nose that required treatment that that was meant for treatment and we are glad that patients can are reaching out to us with complaints which are very genuine you had a block nose complaint you had a nose which was deviated something which surely requires correction okay. and yeah. post operative thing uh, pain always remains especially with respect to the rib and some people are very paranoid as to some graft will be taken from other aspect of yes, the body yes i that's a more what scary is uh, i don't know sometimes you feel what else has been taken other than the rib <laughs> <laughs> that's always there huh. No, yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, it does sound scary to a lot of people. But we always advise that rib being an autologous graft, that is, it's not an artificial sure. substance. It's the best cartilage to be used for augmentation of your yeah. nose. I've seen the video. It's a white substance. Yeah. Yes. Okay, but it's the most recommended one. I mean, whatever is the best. Otherwise, <laughs> you don't wake up during the operation. And you'll be traveling long way back. Yeah. So. Um, All the post-op instructions will be given to you. Be in touch with us. We'll give you a follow-up yeah, number. Yeah, yeah. The, the discharge summary, medications, everything have to has okay. to be taken. Okay, and uh, so I can't go. I can't do workouts, right, for two months? Uh, no strenuous physical activity. Nothing that injures the nose. Um, no no swimming. Uh, what about weights and all that? Weights also. We ask for two months, right? Four to six weeks is recommended to wait, which is one one and a half month. Okay. Yeah. उटरफिकेशउ But only with Doctor Richardson, I could see that uh, he's a genuine. He speaks very uh, uh, as a like not like a doctor. How a doctor speaks like not a clinical. He doesn't use clinical words on which. Uh, like to be honest, he uses layman words right. compared to all these right. clinical terms. Which Such that is yes right. to reach so out to the patient. Was, what was my operation? Very funky word it was. Except to rhinoplasty. Except to rhinoplasty. It sounds good, but hmm. I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what and that is what gave me a confidence like uh, i saw a couple of his videos and different different patients coming from uh, coming from all different yes uh, across the country across and the country. even across the globe yeah across the globe with different uh, <coughs> different background and yes and, uh, and i've seen doctor handling patient very calmly <laughs> so he also has patients <laughs> listen to others and stuff I thought, okay, maybe let's see, because uh, the guy doesn't looks very genuine to me. That is what I wanted. I wanted some kind of faith, confidence. True. Because many True. doctors are like, uh, well, I, I do. Uh, they're speaking this way, and they come up with surely operation. Yeah, <laughs> and but all, I just wanted more than that. I yeah, was like a. some kind of connection connect like, yes with, yes uh, patient and doctor and you mentioned doctor. about faith which is which is very very true because yes. until and unless you are assured of what's being offered you cannot come and put your trust in us yeah. that's very true it is actually because in my i have never done operation any any time uh, this is the first time i'm doing a like voluntarily telling someone to do cut open my body first time <laughs> who would ever want it unless you have lost something or you it's a life and death situation yeah No surgery is scary, and that's valid. But, um, but this is different. It's a face. You can't even you can't even play with it, right? You, Don't you, take you, chances. What do you think is it? When you wake up, all you can think, you can't even like keep okay, your surgery been done. Then like you can at least try to avoid the uh, uh, face. Can, uh, no, you can avoid uh, uh, concentrating on it. But here it's the face. The epicenter, <laughs> right? Okay. 
thank you um be in touch yes yes, yes. and do send us your follow up pictures as well yes yes and um, be in touch with us yes there yeah? are these eight follow up right right yes Thank so you. looking forward to seeing you yes, hopefully yes, for yes. another procedure yes yes for the head transplant i'll be doing yes okay okay thank you thank you so much thank you